Now time for the morning rush. The controversial Texas immigration law, Senate Bill 4, is still on hold. Now it would allow police to arrest people suspected of entering the U.S. illegally. It also allows state judges to order deportations. The Justice Department argues that the Texas law violates federal authority, but Texas says that the Biden administration is not doing enough to control the border. Next week, an appeals court will hear arguments on the legality of it. Now to this, the National Transportation Safety Board started its investigation into what caused a container ship to hit the Francis Scott Key Bridge right there. Now the NTSB is in analyzing the ship's onboard data for clues. Just before that collision, well, the pilot of the ship told officials that the boat lost power and was headed toward the bridge. Just two minutes later, well, the ship crashed into the bridge. Right now we know that the bodies of two construction workers, they were found while four others are still missing and are believed to be dead. We're no longer able, able to safely navigate or operate around that. We have exhausted all search efforts in the areas around this, this wreckage. Well, rebuilding the Scott Key Bridge will not be quick, easy, or cheap. It is estimated to cost at least $2 billion to replace. All right, take a look at this. This is new dash cam video that shows what caused the deadly school crash. Wow, school bus crash in Bastrop County. So I'm going to walk you through it as you see it on your screen. You can see that that cement truck coming up right there. It does cross a devil yellow line, and that's when the bus driver tries to move over to the shoulder, but you can see that ultimately was still hit and ended up rolling over. That's the aftermath. We know that 44 pre-K students and 11 adults, they were on the bus headed to the Bastrop Zoo. Unfortunately, five-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya right there was killed along with another driver. And that is your